Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a full glam makeover. So yes, I'll be doing my hair and makeup and we'll see how this turns out at the end of the video. So I'll see you there. So to start off I'll be using the foundation and I'll be using Clinique's Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I did a review on this and you can see that if you want to but this is in 2 Alabaster and I'll be taking that on a sponge and this is a really thick foundation so I probably would take this on a sponge anyway now with the damp um, beauty blender this is Real Techniques one and um, I'll be taking this and putting this all over my face I'll be using Maybelline's The Eraser Eye Concealer in Light. Blend that with my finger. For the under eye concealer, I'll be using Barry M's Flawless Light Reflecting Concealer in One Light. I'm just going to put this under my eyes in a triangular shape. And to blend that in, I'll be using the pointed side of the sponge. Now to set the under eye, I'll be using NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder, and this is in Translucent. I just bought this today, so um, I'll see how this is. I'm going to take that with a sponge, and I'm going to dip it in. Put it right under my eye. Okay, so while it sets, I'll be using Collections What The Colour Eyebrow Kit. I'll be taking the darkest colour, which is that one, with a brow brush by Real Techniques. Okay, so I realised that it wasn't recording, so I, um put clear brow gel through my brows and then I also put some of this on this is L'Oreal's Glam Bronze in 00 uh, Blonde Sun and I just put this and defined just put some bronzer around places like jawline, cheekbones um, forehead back there again and then now I am contouring and this is Bourjois, I think that's how you pronounce it their um, bronzer and it's this, it looks like chocolate basically and this is way darker than the actual bronzer that I was using before so I'm using this to define the crease in my cheekbones just very gently so I went with a lighter color before now I'm going with a darker color to give my cheeks a bit more definition okay so primer for the eyelids I'll be using Avon's primer and this is in light beige I'm going to take this on my finger Pat it on my lid, and if I have excess, I'll put it on the other one. And then I take Real Techniques Dulux Crease Brush and I blend this in. Now I'll just be taking Sephora's uh, Nude Palette. Yeah, this is their new palette, and I'll be taking this colour right here, which is called Base, and I'm just going to be putting this all over my eyelid where I put the primer on. Just taking a fluffy brush, and just putting it all over. Okay, so to start off, I'll be taking this colour. This is Bees Be Vivid Eyeshadow in Cinnamon, and I'll be taking this colour. 
this ashy, it's like an ashy brown, and this is from the Maleficent um, MAC palette. And I'm going to take both of them together, and I'm going to put that in my crease. drag it out so I create this shape like that so it creates a triangular shape so I'm gonna go from here here so they should meet up right here now to slightly darken it up I'll be using the black color from here you can use any black color I'm gonna take this with another brush and I'm gonna put this right on the outer corner blending it in because I have this double lid I have to like balance it between the upper and bottom part so I usually put it on the bottom and just drag it across and upwards slightly as I can just to smoke it out As you can see, I'm dragging it into my crease, just where the double lid falls over. I'm just pushing it inside, dragging it along slightly, because I know when I do my eyeliner, I usually bring it up and all the way down. And because, you know, I have those days when I never know what size it's gonna be, it will either cover it or it won't. So just taking a uh, caution of this I'm just pulling it as much forward as I can so you can actually see it and now to fill in the rest of the blank space I'll be taking an eyeshadow from this large palette and this is the makeup revolution ultimate eyeshadow collection and I'll be taking I'll be taking this color right here this gold and I'll be putting that on the blank space taking a flat eyeshadow brush I'm going to pack that on I'm going to bring that towards the black. Now I'm going to take the same gold and the same brush and I'm going to put it on my lower lash line. And then another brush and I'm going to take the same black and I'm going to put it out here. connect it to the gold. Now for the eyeliner I'll be using Rimmel's Gel Eyeliner in Black and I'll be taking Max 210 and I just got this today so I'm hoping and praying this solves my problem of doing eyeliner. So I swapped eyeliners because I need to buy a new gel eyeliner, but this is Makeup Revolution's liquid eyeliner. Now I've already curled my lashes before I put on these, and these are the Red Cherries 523s. And now for mascara, I'll be using Estee Lauder's Sumptuous Extreme Lash Multiplying Mascara, and I'll put that on the top and bottom lashes. Now I'm taking this small eyeshadow brush with uh, MUA's Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter in Iridescent Gold. I'm going to take some of this and put it underneath my brow, just under the arch. I'm also going to put a little bit of that right in the middle. The tear duct basically just to brighten up the eye. Now, don't laugh, I made this myself. This is my own Z palette, okay? You know, like you see all these nice Z palettes where they fit all everything in. This is my Z palette, okay? It's a CD case, an empty CD case, and I've stuck these down at the bottom 
and this is what it is. So for the blush, I'll be using, I hope these don't fall out, I'll be using this beautiful berry colour and it's quite deep and it's lovely and I'm going to use that, I'm going to put that on my cheeks. Ooh, whoa, 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 that's pigmented. Now for the highlighter, it's the same highlighter with a fan brush. For the lips, I'll be using In Anticipation Pro Longwear Lip Liner, this, and I'll be taking Maybelline's Colour Drama on top of that, and this is the Very Much Lip, what is this? Velvet Lip Pencil. Just take the excess off so it's not too sticky. Okay, so now that the makeup's done, I'm going to do my hair. So for um, heat protection, I use this Tresemme um, Keratin Smooth. I bought this yesterday, and this. This is my all-time. I've had this for so long. I, I don't even know how many years I've had it, but I've used those two. And this is basically what my natural hair looks like. It's it's pretty frizzy, and um, yeah, this is what it looks like. And um, it's a bit bust up, so this is pretty old. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna curl my hair. basically the final look so I have all my hair curled and stuff and my makeup done and this is the final glam look this is the makeup look this is the glam or I would call it glam because I don't look like this every day so yeah this is how it pretty much looks and if you guys did enjoy please don't forget to like subscribe share and comment and I'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye